Um, hello, my name is Nam, and if you're new to this channel, welcome, and if you're not so new to this channel, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing what is a new title. I'm going to be transforming myself into a soft girl, and the reason why is because I wanted to do like a video like this um, of me just turning into a TikTok trend aesthetic type thing but i'm already one like i'm already an e-girl so why transform into that why don't i transform into what i am absolutely not which is a soft girl as you can see with my outfit and my hair i already did something um i found this in my closet and i never use this and i never use this and it's completely just in my closet for no reason and I also have no bangs these are fake bangs that I just try to style my hair into to kind of look like a soft girl I don't know my inspiration was something like this um and I think I kind of did something but I don't know this mostly looks like a Himi girl like you know the uh, Japanese aesthetic of like the princess bangs and all that yeah it reminds me of that mostly but um i'm gonna try maybe the makeup will bring it all together i really don't know um i tried my best with my hair i honestly don't think i did it i was not gonna cut my hair for this i already have like uh short layers so i tried to fix that up but I don't have bangs, so I tried doing fake bangs and covering it up with the um, beanie. A lot of them wear beanies anyways, so I was like, you know what, I can definitely just do this. Um, I don't know. But yeah, so that's why you see me look different, because I'm planning to do that. So uh, let's actually get started with the makeup. Sorry, I was eating. Um, I've been trying to click on this photo for the last 25 minutes, and when I say 25 minutes, I'm probably exaggerating, but it's been over 5 minutes me trying to get this photo on my tablet because I record on my phone. My tablet, I don't know what's going on with it, it's just clicking on its own buttons. So if I look here, it's because I'm looking at a photo to reference what I'm going to do on my face. I'm looking here, it's because I have my mirror here, which obviously everyone knows. That I need a mirror to see what I'm doing. First things first is me applying primer. I'm using the Touch and Soul one because uh, kind of felt like it. It's very pink and very uh, soft girl aesthetic. Like all the makeup I picked out was very soft girl aesthetic. So that and also it's quality. Like it has good quality. I like the product. And it's what I'm going to be using. I'm priming my face first because I forget sometimes and I'm planning not to forget. I don't even know why I'm doing it if no one's going to see me because I'm not going outside. Um, oh well, yeah, I forgot. So I was planning to talk about the pandemic a little bit more because last time I talked about it, um, some of the information that I said at the time wasn't the most accurate. I honestly don't know how to feel about Because I get it's bad. Like, I get it. And everyone is paranoid. Including me. I'm not saying I'm not paranoid. I'm completely paranoid. But that's not the point of this discussion. I generally just want to understand like people's consensus of how they feel i get that it's scary to <coughs> know that there's a virus and that it attacks everyone like it goes around real quick like just by interacting it goes everywhere Like, it's scary. It's real scary, and I get how people feel about it, but also, like, it doesn't really kill you like that. Um, 
unless you have a really bad immune system like i get it you don't want people to get sick like the elderly especially like they really can like be attacked by it i understand but a lot of people are kind of overreacting about it a bit like i was definitely overreacting uh, but at the same time like we'll be fine like we will be fine it's not that serious we will be fine i understand why you all are afraid i am too um but we will be fine we humans are stronger than this um also it's not as bad a lot more people die from the flu than anything as long as you are careful and you wash your hands do all this you're fine but yeah so i'm gonna put foundation on um basically what i wait should i use a beauty blender <laughs> I'll be as bad as this um but yeah basically i said that we should not worry everything will be okay which um right now it's both correct and incorrect um if you stay home in self-quarantine which i've been doing for the past, I don't know how many days. At this point, I don't even remember. Um, it would affect less people. Now, noting that I'm one of those people that can definitely be affected because I do have a weaker immune system for reasons that I don't want to really address. And also my um, elders and my family are definitely at higher risk than i am but we're definitely at risk so staying home helps me be less at risk and also it helps me with my anxiety of being outside at this current time but also it helps others that you might come across um because you don't know if you have it it's definitely frightening because you don't know who has it not everyone shows signs right away um, and you come across a lot of people every single day you honestly don't know what you're going through or what the person is going through so yeah that too but it has gotten worse as we have been more informed um and there's a lot of things that i haven't agreed upon with uh the government and what they've said um a lot has been that we have been very unprepared and um hopefully if this ever happens again Hopefully it doesn't, but hopefully we're more well prepared because these are things we can't avoid. We've had pandemics before, we had a lot of um, things happen. So hopefully this prepares us. We were definitely more, a little bit more prepared um, by quarantining and doing all this stuff. Like we definitely did act, um, but I feel like it was a little too late. Um, we should have acted. A lot quicker there's a lot of people that are like oh it's less deaths than um past um pandemics um but one is too many um for me personally i believe one is too many any death is too many deaths to me um there shouldn't be any deaths until that happens which we don't know because currently we are going through a whole bunch of cases of deaths and confirmed cases i feel as though until we properly inform ourselves and be more prepared for things like this we can definitely avoid any deaths or any pandemics that might happen in the 
future. And I say might because I don't know the future, but I can't say that it's not gonna happen either. So yeah, um, definitely it's just a lot to handle. Um, and I hope you guys stay home and I go hope you guys are safe wherever you are and I hope you guys do wash your hands, do protect yourself in this current pandemic that we're going through. And the reason why I'm saying pandemic is because YouTube guidelines. Yeah. So now we're gonna go for blush. Now I was thinking about using the Sailor Moon blush in cat's eye. I did not use that when I reviewed Sailor Moon, but Sailor Moon does have that soft vibe in their palettes and everything. So I kind of wanted to use that for aesthetic reasons. Um but also I feel the colors are definitely def mm, definitely the feel. I'm using this one that's a little bit more glittery than the other one. And we're gonna go ahead and just go ham on blush and mostly focusing on the apples of our cheeks. And they even go on the nose with it too. So we're gonna go on the nose with blush. Now we're gonna also go very heavy with the highlighter. So I was thinking of using, I was thinking of using this one, but this one's kind of dark for my face. So I don't know if I want to. I have another one. I'm looking for it. I think it's underneath my boxes. This one, I haven't used this one in a really long time. But I'm trying to use it. I'm also going to be using this uh, mist. It's not a setting spray, it's more of a mist. I want to use it because it's very dewy. And we want that dewy feel. So I'm going to just lightly. Give more of a dewy feel before we apply any highlighter. Usual highlighter brush. Okay, we're good. I thought I almost broke it, but I didn't. Anyways, I'm going more on the top three than in this one because I do want more of a pinkish highlight. I thought they do freckles. Um, I didn't put primer. I don't feel like putting primer because I feel like they probably don't. But I'm going in with sweet, sweet capacity and just patting it on my lid. I'm not putting primer because I don't want this to be primed. <laughs> I want this to be very light and subtle. And I primed it with my foundation, so hopefully it looks nice. And this already has a lot of pigment, also I'm taking this off in two seconds because I'm going nowhere with it, so I don't really want to prime it, but usually I would prime my shadow. As I did with that, we're like almost done, we're going to apply a little bit of mascara, I'm using the Lash Princess. You can see everything is supposedly aesthetic vibe here. I'm going to take this and apply it. They use more um, very soft lashes, I've noticed. Um, since I'm going to put on lashes I, and I'm going to have some lash glue, I'm going to put a very tiny, very tiny line of liner because they barely wear eyeliner. It's like non-existent liner. Now I had to do a mistake. I just apply that super easily. I am so confused. I'm gonna add this lash and then I'm gonna come back because that was too easy to apply. I don't know how, but that happened. These two, um, I was thinking between Bunhead and Exotic by um, NYX. I'm gonna try um, Bunhead from the beautiful Sailor Moon collection. So I'm trying this one. Let's hope to see if it. Oh. 
Okay, yeah. I like this one. I want my hair to look. Now we have to try and do beautiful freckles. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, powder over it to see if it helps make it look a little less like fake. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's a little natural, anyways. Uh, What did I do? I don't think I did it. Is it a bad job? I don't think I did like a great job either. I have one in the bangs with my actual hair. But my bangs are like my ends, so it doesn't match because my ends are lighter than my roots. This is the final look, I hope. Is it looking? Do I look like a soft girl? You tell me. Um, yeah, this has been the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. I know this was really quick, but, like, honestly, I don't think I did a good job with the freckles. Everything else looked kind of cute. I don't look like myself, and I'm over here. Anyways, see you next one.